All right, we, you, man. We have, we have a very special guest coming on. Which everyone has been waiting for. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this man. Check it out. Yo. Here's his intro. Like the fur on a husky, I bust free. I kill shit, just trust me. And there's no one in the world could adjust me. I trust myself. I do what I will. I come right off the top of the brain. I always be feeling the skill. Uh, can no one stop me? I'm about to get it, most probably. I got all right, you're on. All right, here we go. Yo, what is up? It's the man, the myth, the legend. The legend himself. The, the freaking legend, Harry Mack. Hey! <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Honored to be here. Honored <laughs> to be here. How's everybody doing? We're doing good, dude. Yeah. We're doing Can't good. complain, Beautiful. man. Beautiful. So, Marcus, good to see you. Long time no see. Yeah. Long time no see, man. Yeah, hope you're, hope you're still doing well. <laughs> yes, still good, man. Still good. Yeah, good dude, that, that collab that you guys did Insane. was... I uh, do next level the best collab of 2021 <laughs> seriously oh, appreciate hands that, down dude. appreciate that hands not down even, like halfway through the year yet. yeah we're not even halfway through the year we're not even halfway through the year but, but dude that definitely. was wow that was awesome know. we watched the whole thing it was just it's so awesome and i know that the chat is going crazy right now everybody <laughs> is you know always enjoys when you uh you know you you do your thing because you do it you know you do it so well and, uh, Thank you. I figured we would just talk for a little bit and just like maybe pick your brain on some stuff and uh, and then Please. maybe you could do a freestyle yeah. for us. 100%. I'm, cool. I'm here for it all. So I think that I wanted to talk about this because we're all, me, us, you, and Marcus, we're all Omegle creators. And right. I don't think that the people actually know how much goes into making an Omegle video. Like right. they, mm -hmm. don't, they don't see the behind the scenes stuff. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to pick your brain on it and like, cause I think people would be interested. I don't know if you've talked about this before in videos or like live streams or whatever, but I think people would be interested in kind kind of hearing like your your take on like how you, you make videos and like what, what goes into like a video that you make. Yeah, 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 great question. So um, everything that I've learned about creating Omegle content, I've just kind of, you know, learned through trial and error and just sort of organically uh, as I'm sure all of us have, right? Uh, just from kind of diving in and and trying to figure out what makes the most sense for me. Um, you know, like the first thing that was cool to learn about were the different interest tags that you can use. Yeah, definitely. Right. Uh -huh. To uh, which is super helpful in in filtering out a lot of a lot of craziness, and also just pairing you with people that are hopefully going to be interested in the in the type of uh, content that you're creating. So that was really cool to figure out. Definitely. Um, you know, for me. Uh, it was actually really dope to get with Marcus, uh, and, and create just to, um, I actually learned a lot in terms of, uh, you know, the, our session was very organized, which yeah. was awesome. Cause I'm going to be real with you all right now. My sessions are not organized <laughs> at all. Like I, I just hop in, like I have a iTunes playlist that's literally on shuffle. Like, and there's just like a ton of beats in it. I have no idea what the beat is going to be, what the tempo is going to be. I'll just, sometimes I'll hop in for 45 minutes and try to get something. Sometimes I'll hop in for a few hours. Yeah. Um, so it's totally random. And, and basically the way that we've sort of done it is I, I'm creating all these different clips and performances and they're kind of going into a vault. And then uh, my, my, uh, my team, you know, uh, Iconic, who I work closely yeah. with, will go through and sort of uh, like create playlists out of the clips. That's so awesome, that was man. our process for a long time, um, just so that, you know, me as an improviser, I'm so just like, all right, let me hop in now or let me do, let me try this. And I like it to be kind of different every time. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, so that, that's kind of been my process is just dip in randomly and I never know what's going to happen, but it was really dope working with, uh, with you, Marcus and seeing, uh, how, how structured and organized it was It kind of guarantees a certain quality of, of, of content. So, uh, I'm going to start kind of implementing some of that in, in my creative process as well. Nice. I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, <laughs> especially because like basically what we did was I had five beats or songs prepared. And we it was the same thing like when Austin, when you and I worked together yeah. and Kayla, uh, we basically just like went on with one song, try to get reactions for that one song. And then once we feel like we got enough and also going back and looking at the footage is good too. like just been like, OK, this is definitely good because when you're playing, you know, a lot of times when I'm playing, I'm not actually watching the reaction. and I'll miss this giant jaw drop, you know, and I'm like, oh, I didn't even know I had a great clip. So it kind of just helps me keep me sane because I was definitely doing things in a very disorganized way when I first started. I mean, it was so scuffed and it was it blew my <laughs> mind because Harry, you know, he started making Omega videos not too long ago and he knew so much 
already about OBS and like, you know, throwing in your layout and stuff. And so he was already like super well educated on all of it. But yeah, it's with how much footage we get. Like, and I think this is like, this is what I like talking about publicly. I, I want to talk about it more is like, sometimes you get like six, 10 hours of footage and you condense it down to a 10 minute video. Yeah. And I think yeah. people are like, like I've had people go or people will comment and they'll be like, I went on Omegle and like, people aren't nice. Like what's going on? Like I, I thought, you know, cause like our reactions or our reaction videos are highlights of like the six hours we yeah. spent on Omegle. So it's like, yeah, we met some nice people, but everyone else is kind of, you know, some people are just low energy, but some people can be mean. So it's definitely, you got to filter out a lot of that. And I think a lot of people don't know that. Like one video we had, a video I did with a good friend of mine, Frank, uh, we did like, we had like 10 hours of footage. So it's just like, it, it can get crazy. Yeah. How, sure. Let me ask you a question. How long did it take you guys to film that video? It was pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. I felt like I, it would I, be. I, I figured. <laughs> Like every yeah. reaction was pretty solid. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it was. Gr it probably took like four, four or five hours max, right? And we took a we took a lunch break in the middle of that, so it came together pretty swift. <laughs> Even Chipotle still, break, yeah. it's funny. Yeah. It's, it's funny that you guys say quick, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, four or five hours is quick. Yes, yeah, I, I, I can really say fast. for an Omegle video, spending three, four hours is is definitely quick because we like Marcus, like you said, like you get, and I'm sure Harry, you can attest to this too. Yeah. There are days that are good and there are days where it's a lot harder because just for whatever reason, the whoever. people online yeah. are just, I mean, how often do you guys get this? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know. Right. The people that are, multi yeah, some people are like playing Fortnite on their TV and it's like their back of their head and they're like <laughs> on Omegle. It's like, what's going on with that? You know? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some people just have Omegle running while they do other unrelated things. It's quite strange. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure why you would want to open up a 24-7 window into your world for strangers to watch you do other things, but apparently a lot of people do. <laughs> yeah. uh, but in seriousness, like that's the one thing, you, you know, you mentioned people see the product and don't necessarily know all that goes into it. Um, I think one of the things that's challenging about being like an Omegle content creator, right? And something that I'm sure we can all relate to. And maybe one of the reasons why um, there's not more people doing it is you, you do have to have that thick skin <laughs> and be totally down with rejection, yeah. you know, yeah, sure. and, and just totally take it like, oh, whatever, you know, just let it roll over you. Cause there will be times where like, I'll be two minutes into this, what I consider to be like an epic freestyle. I'm feeling it. I'm like, wow, this one's going to be legendary. <laughs> and then they'll just skip, you know, or Dude, like, it blows or my anything mind. else. Or there's a problem with OBS and it doesn't get recorded. Or oh, I realize I forgot to split the audio the tracks or, you know, like there's right. so many things that can go wrong and you just have to not let that crush you, you know, and yeah. just be like, hey man, that's part of the game. It's going to be 10 times harder and take 10 times longer than I think it should. Yeah. Um, but in the end, it's, it's going to be worth it. Dude, there is, there is no worse feeling than getting an amazing reaction that happened to us the other day and it didn't get didn't recorded. Record. Because yeah. you know it what happened. I mean, like there is yeah, that happened to us just the other day. Man. Oh, it really? Yeah, we were we were recording and like we were we were like two reactions in. The first one was okay, but the second one was really good. And we had talked about like the whole meme of like not pressing record. That's like the classic and then it mistake. Happened. Yeah, like I was just we're just vibing. He's he's freestyling, and I'm just playing. And I look up to my other monitor, and it says start recording instead oh. of stop recording. I just give Harry this look and I click it in the middle. <laughs> we start recording in the middle right. and I'm like, it doesn't matter. Dude. Um, that's I, the fun of the game, man. That's the fun of the game. I remember the same thing. Austin yeah, Taylor the same too. thing happened. And yeah. I just remember I, just, I could feel his agony. And when he saw just I, I, I can envision the moment when you're, 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 you're like, you're coming out and then you look at it's like, start recording. You're just like, no, like you just, yeah. you just lose it. It's like but a pit in your stomach. Like you said, though, you have right. to, you have to have thick skin and you just got to keep going because with the omegle based stuff it's it's you it's you film bulk it's not just about one reaction yeah. you know what i mean right. and you're you know you're awesome and and marcus too cuz you guys do a lot of improv and especially i mean harry you do all improv like every single right. thing I is, don't is how i have no clue works. how your brain works but <laughs> That it just seems me neither me neither <laughs> I, I also don't understand oh, yeah, how my brain I, works <laughs> i wanted to ask you too like Clearly, you've been doing this for a very long time, and you yeah. seem incredibly comfortable doing what you do. Do you ever get, like, nervous about what words are going to be thrown at you? Or, like, because you go so fast, and you're just like, I'm like, how is this guy, like, what is happening in there? Because I don't understand. Right. 
No, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I, I totally get nervous. Um, yeah, I, I get nervous to some degree every time I, I perform. I think um, these days, so much of what I do is here, like in my studio, you know, is I'm at my house. I'm like in yeah. this very safe space. So that helps a lot. You know, I sit here every day. So um, I feel very comfortable as opposed to like with my Gorilla Bar series where I was going out in public um, and interacting with strangers face to face that I would get very nervous for. Mm -hmm. um, certainly anytime I'm going to go on stage and perform, uh, I get super nervous. Um, and that's just kind of part of it for me. Yeah. But uh, I think in terms of feeling comfortable and looking comfortable, um, I've done so many freestyles. You know, I mean, I've just done thousands of hours of freestyling and just like with anything else, you know, the, the confidence comes through experience. Yeah. Yeah. And I think when you shoot so many shots, each shot is not that important. Yeah. I mean, it's important. It's everything, right? This is my dream. So it's critically important, but by the same token, it's my life and I live it every single day. So you have off days, you have on days. If I have a weak freestyle, if I mess up, if I forget all the words and just make weird sounds and blah, 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 blah okay, I can do another freestyle. Five minutes from now, I yeah. can wake up and do more freestyles tomorrow. And so as an improviser, I try to be more in that space of like, it's a language. And uh, some days it's easy to communicate with people. Other days it's a little more challenging. But every day I'm going to attempt to express Definitely. myself and communicate through the language For of freestyle. Sure. That's amazing. Yeah, that's and awesome. I also want to ask you how you got into it in the first place. Word. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I fell in love with hip hop when I was like in third or fourth grade, just cause of like the beat, you know, yeah. and, and the, the, the low end, it was like rattling my little body. And I was like, <laughs> yes, I want that. Um, and, uh, you know, I started playing the drums for the same reason. I was a little kid. I'm sorry. I'm not going to talk for an hour about my origin story, but <laughs> I, uh, when I was three years old, I was at a music store with my dad and I was still like reaching up to hold his hand and I saw this pedal and I was drawn to it. And uh, the music store guy said, Hey, you want to press that? And I was like, ah. and my dad was like, go ahead and put my foot on it. And uh, they had to push to press me down. And it turned out it was the bass drum pedal and it threw the beater into the drum. And my little three-year-old body was like, <laughs> was like, that's, that's it. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I've decided that's what I'm going to do. So I started playing the drums in fifth grade and uh, fell in love with hip hop. And, uh, you know, me and all my friends in middle school just were obsessed. And we would watch like 106 in Park, the freestyle battles and Rap City, the basement. All these dope artists would come on and, and, and freestyle and rap. And we had like a $20 Radio Shack mic and Brady's mom's records. And uh, we would just try to um, freestyle and we were terrible at it, but it was super fun. And, uh, you know, I've just been obsessed with it since then. Wow. So you've really been doing yeah. this your whole life. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Amazing. I mean, yeah. Most since I was 11 or 12, I've been freestyling. Well, That's dude, crazy. you're, you're, you're definitely, I could say, and I'm sure everybody in the chat, every single person would agree that you're, you were definitely meant to do this. You know, yeah. I, I've worked, me and Kayla Thank are a big believer in just like the universe is going to work for you work. and, and things are going to happen for you and whatever that is going to happen is meant to be. And I definitely think everybody would agree that 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 for you you're meant to do this for sure. And we would love to hear Appreciate we would that. love to hear a freestyle. I'm sure yes. everybody knows how it goes. We would love to throw a few words at you, but we should make it yeah. we should make it really challenging. But yeah, I, please. I'm yeah, sure yeah, people yeah. say this all the time and he's like, "Ah, oh, that's not hard." <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, you can you can go first. Marcus, you can go first. No, I I need time to think. This is, I haven't done this with Harry yet because we were doing it for strangers. All right, let's see. You guys, right. I'm bouncing it back to you guys. Oh I gotta god, think. I didn't even think of anything. Why Egg McMuffin. Egg McMuffin. Egg McMuffin. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Okay. Come on, we gotta go super random. Uh, Egg McMuffin. It's harder to think of random words than it is to freestyle. I have experienced that actually. Jeez, yeah, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> There's so much pressure on just one word. But don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so egg McMuffin. Do I have to pick another one? No, no, no. I'll get this other. I'm, I'm with you, Kayla. Don't worry. Because I want it to be really good. All right, know? chat. Start throwing Me out too. some words. Maybe we'll go off something off the chat. So we got some objects coming together here in the uh, uh, on the tech camera. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Egg McMuffin and Sonic the Hedgehog. But okay, there that, we go. Sonic that whole, the Hedgehog. Yeah, exactly. Leave leave Sonic up there for reference. All right. Egg McMuffin, Egg Sonic the e Hedgehog. Let's get one more for the for the rule of threes. Swiss cheese. Oh, I got one. Oh, okay, Marcus, I got go. One. Inception. Yeah. Inception. One of my yes. favorite movies. Yes, classic. Okay, dope, dope, dope. Uh, Egg McMuffin, Sonic the Hedgehog, <laughs> and Inception. Wait. Luckily, it's all very thematic and tied together already. This should be easy. Can I, um, wait, can I give you one more? Because I didn't get to go. Yes. Bananas yes. Foster. 
Banana. Bananas Foster. What the hell is that? I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it some type of dessert? I guess yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of that. I've heard of that. I don't know what it like, is, but it came to is my Is it pudding? <laughs> all right, so we're going to make it up off the top. This is good. This is good. Uh, right. This is what improv is all about. Uh, I have one of my... Uh, one of my original beats here that I can drop so, okay. so that there will be no copyright issues or anything like that for the stream. I didn't want to get y'all in trouble. Um, so I'm good. Can I drop this? Yeah, yeah let's hear it. Whenever you're good. Muffin, man. Okay. Ah, ah, yeah. One, two, one, two. Ah, yeah. One, two, one, two. Check it. Ah, come on, come on, yo. Amigos got talent in the house. Yeah, so we about to turn it down. Hey, we go from blue to green. Marcus Valtteri, Harry Mack, we be up on the scene, live on the stream. Hey, yo, we about to make it happen. I'm known for coming off top with improvised rapping. We taking action, and y'all know we never bluffing. Rhyming first thing in the morning like Egg McMuffins. Yeah, you know these rappers clowns like Ronald. Yeah, I be shining golden arches, that's McDonald's. Yeah, and y'all know I be killing these words. Worth the McDonald's, cause it's more than a billion served. Serving lyrics off the top. I engage with the language on a daily basis. I'm leaving fans in amazement. Yeah, I'm spitting. And wise and my flow is improvised all my enemies are salty like mcdonald's fries mac i'm up in it and you know i'm about to supersize your meal when it comes to lyrics my flows are for real uh hey yo i get loose and make you laugh like urkel how they get the eggs into such a perfect circle yeah the way i rhyme y'all know that it's formal to have an egg that round it's just not normal yeah. and y'all know that i'll spit until i'm dying man i guess they got a tiny circle shaped frying pan h mac man you know i gotta get one of those i be coming off the top when i'm running flows doing what the and I'ma spit until I'm dead. God, Mac is on the roll. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, can't nobody out there go beyond it. Make your speakers go boom like Sonic. I'm all up in it. They can't really do what I do. Yeah, I love Sonic because the color is blue. But today we go in from blue to green. They be getting to the paper. Hope y'all know what I mean. I make connections with the colors. Leaving instrumental smother. My lyrics is butter. Matter of fact, I do it like none other. I elevate in the mother. Ship like George Clinton. Never losing microphone abusing. We be winning. Yeah, hey, yo, I'm kicking lyrics in every direction streaming to your stream that's inception it's a stream inside a stream what can i say harry mack y'all know i be improvising all day yeah the movie was about a dream inside a dream but i flipped it because the harry mack stream inside the stream of the blue onto the green inside the green earth we living on hey yo i just keep expanding to a bigger song hold up yo it's a world inside a world like the end of space jam check the way that i create man oh wait i meant to say the end of men in black where the universe is just a tiny marble in a sack h mack y'all know that they love the way I spit Cause when they be coming to rhyme And man the neck don't quit Okay now listen I come up with boss words Someone gotta tell me What's banana foster <laughs> Harry Mack a grip on I like the work I put in Got me wondering If it's the ice cream or pudding Someone break it down Cause you know that I get What I deserve Love bananas foster Favorite dessert And like bananas foster When I'm ripping on the beat All the lyrics I deliver off top Are too sweet like that Yo! Yo! How is oh that my even God. possible? Wait, I I have to say, yeah. somebody somebody in the chat just said way too easy, and that's how it feels. And Marcus, I'm sure you can agree. It just feels like it's just like you just know easy. Like, like I can't imagine that you even have words that. How much ran more random can it be than Egg McMuffin, Sonic the Hedgehog, <laughs> uh, it's uh, Bananas Foster? I don't even know what that was. So like, but dude, like care. seriously. Me neither. <laughs> it, it's it's incredible honestly like yeah, it's just truly. it's so cool what you do and the fact that Thank e you. i've we've watched so much of your videos and live streams yeah. and i can't even name a time where i was like oh that sounds like another rap that he did before everything right. everything dude sounds different which is the coolest but it's thing. it's still all your style, though. Yeah. Which it, is dope. It, right. Yeah, it's just, you, dude, you're so incredibly talented. The chat is blowing up right now. I'm sure everybody uh, <laughs> enjoyed it. Dude, thank you so much for yeah. for coming on. We we really appreciate it. You're, you and Marcus, you guys are, are people that, I mean, we only started our YouTube channel nine months ago. And when we started, yeah. you know, it was, we, we were passionate about it, but it was just kind of like a hobby. And we said, if it picks up, it picks up. If it doesn't, whatever. And you, right. you, you and Marcus, you, you, both of you were people that we watched and were like, you guys that's have been, inspiration yeah, right there. That's inspiration. Been, that's awesome. We look up appreciate to you that's guys awesome, so much. man. I, I really appreciate that. You guys are killing it. You're, you're, you're just getting started on, on YouTube and already thank crushing you. it and growing so oh, much. So uh, I'm it, sure dude. it's a super bright future for, for y'all uh, in the space, man. We appreciate it sure. so much, dude. Well, no, it was, no. it was good to see you and we hope that you uh, enjoy the rest of your day, dude. Yes, same to you guys. All, All right, right. Good thank to see you so Harry. much. Peace. Peace, Marcus. Good to see you. Take care, guys. Bye. Peace out. Bye-bye. Dude, how?
<laughs> I, I, I still don't, I understand. don't even understand how. Yeah, there's when I was editing the video, you know, I was like watching you guys know how it is. You watch the same clips 200 times, you know, yeah. but it was like I would be like listening. I'd be like, I didn't even pick up on this. Like, you know, it, was, it took me the 200th time to like notice the way he would connect words together yeah. and like he gives words like double meaning to you know like synonyms and stuff and so it's just crazy man and the way he like transitions from word to word too like you know because like when you have like words that have such different topics you know it's like i can't mm. i can't imagine how many things are going on in his head but it's probably just like autopilot for him at this point yeah it's it's, crazy. it's it really is insane because i don't even know if autopilot is like the right word to describe it it just seems like it's impossible it literally <laughs> well, seems us, like yeah. it's impo I I can't even imagine my brain like and it sounds so fl it, it sounds like he wrote these like that whole thing sounded right. like he wrote it like there are so it many like rappers yeah. there's so many rappers that wouldn't like famous people who they couldn't even write something that good you know yeah, what I mean for sure so yeah, no, he's great